Hey, what's going on, folks? Ernie here with Wicked Awesome Gifts. And let me turn off the heater. Got cold in here tonight. I'm not sure why. Made my nose run. All right, so today um, I'm doing a lot of things, but uh, I, took, I was doing tumblers and well, water bottles. I always call them tumblers, but uh, I took a break from that. Um, I didn't feel like putting my machine back down, so I just put a box under there with some magnets to do a little fake jig. So what we're doing now, I went, um, I got an order of thirty um, salt and pepper shakers for one of my customers. I did some for them back in um, December and I used the uh, chalkboard spray paint and um, <clears throat> I was back when I first started doing um, businesses as customers. Um, I think they were my first actually um, and since then you know word of mouth and um, you know networking uh, it blew up pretty good and now 90% of my business mix is business to business, marketing, merchandising, that kind of thing. So, uh, but these were my first and uh, way back when I didn't have Ceramark spray or Laser Brilliance or any of that stuff. I was just doing the, um, I had given them a pint glass with a coaster as a gift. And uh, in our talking, he said, you know, people, no, no, actually I saw on their, on their Facebook, people kept stealing their salt and pepper shakers because they had, it's a Mexican restaurant and they had, um, Salt and pepper shakers look like Corona bottles, and uh, people kept stealing them. So he is pretty sucky. So uh, while we were talking about that, he mentioned that he'd got some new ones, and he's like, "Hey, can you engrave glass?" I'm like, "Yeah, but it'll show up white, not black." I'm not sure how that would look with salt. Um, I just emptied out the salt because I was testing. But here's one of the originals that I had done, and when I edit this video and put it in there, so you can see. Um, what the product looked like when I gave it to him. But, uh, <clears throat> this is one of my testers, so it's not, it was not the final product at all, but that's what it looked like. Um, it's funny because it's, it's white, right? But it, it's actually kind of gray. So, um, salt is white and this is white, but salt is a whiter white. So when you put salt in it, it looks gray. So it actually worked out pretty well and they liked it. Oddly enough, the pepper, it was more difficult to see the pepper than it was with the salt. So, um, this is one I did a minute ago, and it looked nice. And I used a uh, Ceramark laser marking spray, and um, got this. So that looks really nice. This is uh, is dirty because this is mine. This is uh, well, the lid is mine. I didn't put the new lid on. So that's what it looks like. So if y'all are curious how to make one of these. We'll hop over there and I'll show you. <clears throat> now comes the cool intro. Haha. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Alright, we're over here at the laser and I lied. I don't have a cool intro. <coughs> I don't have any intro. So, to you, that was instant transformation. But about 10 minutes went by. Because <laughs> I was doing other stuff. So, um, I'm going to get one. I pre-painted um, half of them. So, we don't have to... Whoa. You don't have to watch the paint job and if you're curious what it looks like when it's painted it looks kind of gray okay so there's that and I'm going to put you down get her hooked up and be right back okay we're back and I don't know how clear this is gonna come out so um, for my rotaries over there I was doing my tumblers and I just popped a box in here so it would reach the height because I didn't want to undo my legs and everything. So we're just going <clears> to <throat> put this over here. Pop this little guy in here. My little pretend jig. I got two magnets in there and some magnets underneath holding them in place. 
and that goes right in there like that. Now what we're going to have to do here, which is always fun. Alright, so we can move that out of the way. <clears throat> now these, um, these shakers, they're not round. They have a flat spot, then round and then flat. So they don't do well in the rotary. Because if you think about it, when it turns, it's not going to be the, the same height. that won't be level. <clears throat> so let's get her level this way. Alright, so now it's flat. And they're not the same every time. I had a jig made up for these the first time. But what I learned is that the jig's pretty much useless. Because everyone is different. They're, they're kind of the same, but they're different. So Now, for some of these smaller glass type of things, I'll shove a, a rag or something inside of it, just because sometimes the laser beam... Now, I'm not running this on high power, and those of you that want to know the settings, and I know everybody wants to know settings, um, I'll have... I'll screen... I'll take a picture of those with the camera when I get uh, done. So I'll give you the settings here at the end. But um, when I used to do glass on my old laser module, come to find out that module was broke. That's why I got a new one. But I used to have to hit it at 100% power and real slow to mark it up. So sometimes that laser beam would shoot right through. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, mark up the other side of the glass. So I put a rag in there. Now, this settings are a lot less, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Noise. So for these, in this situation I'm in now, just popping them in and out real quick. I just find the middle halfway and then I frame it and eyeball the rest again because they're not the same. <clears throat> some are thinner, some are thicker, they're just not the same. So I got to eyeball them when I frame it. Pretty close. I almost got that one first try. Alright, that looks good. Happy with that. <clears throat> I think having you guys up on this bar like this, uh, I don't know how much of the engraving process you'll get to see, but I don't think there's enough room to put you down there. So in the interest of keeping this short-ish, we'll just do it like this, see what happens. If you don't want to watch this part, just go on fast forward, and then we'll... Um, come to the end and I'll clean it off, show you the picture, show you the settings. All right. was painfully slow especially when you have to stand there the whole time whoa up close and personal <clears throat> all right so take those off now well, there we go there's our little let's get the, the light here actually I probably should put the camera over here that way the light bounces off of the thing yeah so there it is I'm gonna go clean it 
and we'll come back and pour some salt in it. See how she looks. Be right back. Okay, we're back. It's clean. Now, um, for those of you that haven't used Ceramark before, it, it comes right off with water. Nothing special. You just get her wet, rub it off, dry it, you're good. So there it is. Hard to see because it's clear, but it's in there. So we're going to pour some salt in there. One thing I'll, I'll let you guys know that at least I've experienced, um, and I've dismissed some of my engravings thinking they were garbage but it's really difficult on these diodes to get um complete solid black now it looks completely solid black right but if you get up close not with the naked eye with the naked eye at least my eyes it looks great um but when i take a picture and zoom in it almost looks terrible and I've actually thrown some away and people are like stop stop doing that you're too picky blah 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 or my expectations are too high I don't know so <clears throat> at least with these um, I, I pour the salt in it before I judge because when I look at it and take the camera and look it might look like garbage and then you pour the salt in it it's fine my doggy woke up hello doggy all right, so we'll take this little guy. See if I can do this on camera without making a big mess, right? Pour some salt in there. Put the lid on. We go now here's the old one i just poured it out of and so you can't see much on there either and here's the one we just did nice and pretty i think yeah that's passable i like that that is doable now one thing about when you use the well whatever medium you use to do get the white engraving Chalkboard, spray paint, tempera paint, whatever. Usually when you rub your finger over it, if you do it right, it just feels like screen printing and it's not really pronounced. Opposite with the Ceramark spray. You can feel it. It's it's sticking off. Um, you can feel it. But it is a permanent marking. It's not supposed to come off. I haven't had any other stuff that I've done come off. So, there you go. That's how we make salt and pepper shakers here at Wicked Awesome Gifts. So I'll put a link in the description below for those that don't know what Ceramark is. I'll put a link for that down there. I'm not affiliated or nothing. It's just something I buy and use. Um, and uh, put a link to my Facebook group and a link. That's all we went over. Ceramark. Yeah. Well, well I get. I didn't get these. The customer bought these. <clears throat> I bought some for myself to sell at craft fairs and stuff as well because I thought they were cool. Uh, you can get these at Websterant. I don't know if you guys have gone there, but it's a great source of glassware. Uh, I get some of my glassware at JDS, um, but they only carry a few things. Websterant carries everything. So if you haven't used that, go to Websterant.com and uh, they they have these these things there and other a lot of other glassware too. So there you go. I'll put those links in the description. And y'all have a good day. Bye.